hello guys welcome to the next video on WPF C sharp application tutorial in the last video I have shown you how to get the corresponding values when you click some name or data in the combo box so when you select some data and the corresponding values for example e employee ID and surname and age comes in these text boxes in this video I will show you how to connect your database with the data grid view or in simple word table so if you want to show the whole uh, data in a single table you can do that in uh, WPF uh, C sharp so exactly that I'm going to show you today so let's get started stop the process and now I have this mm, window here so what I will do is I will go to the text box not text box but, but the toolbox and I search for the data grid here so this is the data grid which holds our table data so just drag and drop into your window and it looks like this it's nothing but a blank data grid it has no column or no row set when you drag and drop this data grid view you can see in your XAML or XAML view this line of code is added which is data grid which is this data grid auto generate columns false and all the properties of this data grid right what you need to do first is go here to auto generate columns I will make it little bit bigger so go here in auto generate columns and instead of false by default it's false you have to make it true okay so first thing you need to do is you need to do this true because what we are going to do is we are going to auto generate columns we are not customize or we will not customize our columns but we will auto generate the column with the data so that's why I made this true once you are done with this what I will do is I will take a button from my tool box and drag and drop here and let me make it a little bit smaller so we can see it and let me change the text of this button so I name it as load table and I change the name of this button also load table text okay so go to the properties and change this content and this button name now I want when I click this load table button my database values which is this database here it's a SQLite database which we are working on in last few videos I want to show employee ID name surname and age four columns I want to show in my data grid view as a table data okay so now I just double click this button and I go to the load table text button click event before writing uh, any of the code okay first we write the skeleton of the code which we are writing from the last few videos to connect SQLite with the database 
sorry to connect our application with the SQLite database so I copy and paste this skeleton here make it a little bit bigger so these are the little this is a little skeleton which I use in every code to connect with my SQLite database right and if you don't recognize this code and you are watching this video for the first time you can go to the first video in which I have shown you how to connect SQLite with your WPF C Sharp application and you know what this code is so first is the connection SQLite connection and I make a variable for SQLite connection is equal to new SQLite connection and I pass the database connection to it and then I make a try catch block to catch any exception and then I open my SQLite database so I copy this SQLite con dot open and then I prepare my query so this is a string type query is equal to select star from my table name this I will change but this is a simple query and then I prepare the command so I write SQLite command create command is equal to new SQLite command and I pass the query and I pass the connection as an argument okay and then I ex execute my query so this command dot execute non query bracket and bracket close and once my query is executed I close my SQLite connection so if you want to copy this just pause the video and copy this whole code now I'm going to add some more code to this so first thing we are going to add in this code is we are going to import one namespace so just go at the top and write here using system dot data okay just import this namespace if you don't have this if you already have this then don't worry you are on right path but if you don't have just import this namespace here now once again we go to the button click event load table button click event this is our code and after this first of all we will prepare our query for example so in this query we are passing select star from employee ID so what we want is to show only four columns right now in our database we have six column employee IDs name surname age username and password I just want these four columns so I write the name of these columns as a query so I instead of this star I write EID comma name comma surname comma age okay select these four column values from my table okay these are the column names now everything is done command is set our command is executed and now I want to transfer my data into the data grid view so this is the code in between this SQLite close and this command dot SQLite query non query execute non query I will write the code to transfer my data from my database to the data grid view so first thing I will declare here is uh, SQLite data adopter so write SQLite data adopter and give it a name I name it as data ADP for example is equal to new SQLite data adopter and bracket and bracket close and in here in this uh, bracket you need to pass your SQLite command so just copy this SQLite command and pass it here 
in between this adopter brackets now in the second line we will declare a variable for the data table so we write data table dt is equal to new data table bracket and bracket closed and what table we want to show in our data grid view uh, we want to show this table which is there in sklite which whose name is employee info so in my database my table name is employee info i copy the name of the table and in this bracket i give double quotes and inside my double quote i give the name of the table in the database okay now what i will do in next is i copy my data adopter variable here paste it here and i will fill this data with i will fill this data adopter with my data table so i write this dot fill bracket and bracket closed and i pass this data table variable inside this fill argument okay now in the next line what we are going to do is we will transfer this table to the data grid view so go to your main window select your data grid from here and copy the name of the data grid view so just copy this data grid 1 in my case this is the name of this data grid so just copy this name go to the code section and below your data adapter dot fill code just paste the name of your data grid and write dot item source is equal to copy this dt variable once again and then write dot default view bracket and bracket closed i think this will not come here okay so we passed our data table value which we are taking it from the database into the data grid view and what we are going to do is we will update our data grid once again so what you want have to do is just copy this data adopter variable from here and paste it here once again dot update and in this bracket pass the argument dt for data table okay so this is the code for loading the database value in the data grid or table so if you want you can pause the video and just copy it and now we are going to run this program so let's run it i have username and password and it opens the second form and when i click this load table my eid name surname and age column should appear here and all the data in that so let's try i click it and bam all the data in the database comes in my data grid view so let's check if the data is correct this is my sklite database data and this is my wpf application so you just check all the data which is here in the database is also here so in this way you can connect your data grid with your 
database so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now